Hello guys and welcome to another episode of Funko Pops on the Rise March 2020 week 3. We have a big episode for you guys planned. A lot of work has gone into this episode. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this. Awesome. We have some fire fire pops coming at you. Fire episode. You guys don't want to miss out on this one. Also we're going to announce the winners for my giveaway that I was doing for the J Balvern Chase and Common Pop, so stay tuned, you don't wanna miss out on that. If you did miss out on this epi or on this giveaway, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you, so you can possibly win on one of my next giveaways. Also, if you guys could go ahead and hit that like button, it really helps my channel grow, I really do appreciate it. So let's get into these Funko Pops on the rise for March. This one isn't a pop, but this one is a Funko pin and this is the golden Freddy idol from the San Diego comic-con This one. I don't I believe this one you could win I don't believe you could buy this one, but I may be wrong on that um, Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong But I believe this was a hard piece to get and I believe it was uh, a giveaway I think that's what the SE means. Maybe I'm wrong, but this one's going for hundred and eighty five dollars right now If you wanted to pick this one up, I'm not a huge fan of the Funko pins but this particular piece is one of my favorite ones that they have released as far as the pin lines. As far as the boxes look on the Funko pins, the boxes look fantastic. It's just the pins themselves look cheap sometimes, but this pin does really look great for the Golden Freddy Idol. Next we have the Dark Phoenix Orange Translucent. This was an exclusive to the New York Comic Con, so if you're able to pick this one up, the uh, the 2019 New York Comic Con and this one was selling for $15 and the Comic Con sticker one, not the Shed exclusive, the Comic Con sticker one is selling for $39 on average right now. So great pop, great piece. There's not a lot of pops that look like this with the orange fading into red. This look is pretty unique and it's, it fits this pop really well. I'm, I'm glad they did this. It's almost like this is a chase version of it, but it's, it's not, it's just a Comic-Con exclusive. So it's a great piece for Funko to do. Next we have the Black Manta. This was a San Diego Comic-Con Freaky Tiki Friday uh, Funko Pop. This was limited to 350 pieces. Uh, the It's a question mark on this one because you could get this in a box of fun or you could be there at the event, event to pick this one up. And so the box of fun was $75, so it's not really a price on this particular pop. It's either you purchase the box of fun and hopefully you got it, or you are at the, the event. And so this one's going for $150. This isn't a pop that I particularly want or like. I don't really like this uh, look on this character, but a lot of people do because this is more popular than the Sofa Freddy and some other ones. And it's more popular than those ones, so I mean that's surprising to me, but I mean I guess there's a lot of people that are wanting and searching for this pop. Next we have a Shaka Raka one, and this one I really do uh, like, and the Shaka Raka was another, uh, I would say he's kind of the mascot for the Freaky Tiki Friday. This is the glow in the dark piece, and this one was limited to 400 pieces and you could only pick this one up in the box of fun or at the event. This one's going for $100 right now. So another piece that I didn't think would be valuable, but has shot up in value over the last couple months and is a cool piece. This is one that I, I would collect and I, I do like this character. We have a lady, Sylvanas. I think that's how you say her name, Sylvanas or something like that. I'm, I'm not sure on this one, but this is a World of Warcraft piece and this is the Go Patina BlizzCon exclusive. This one you could have picked up at the con for $15 and now it's selling for $35. So not a bad piece to pick up. Um, that sticker on there is pretty cool. That's one of the sicker stickers I have seen um, Funko create or for a con. So that's a pretty unique sticker and a pretty unique piece. I don't play World of Warcraft. I know a lot of people do. Um, I don't even play the game and I want this pop. This, they did a fantastic job on this piece. It's not um, extremely pricey, so if you did play the game and you wanted to pick up that pop, there you go, 35 bucks. Now we have another Shakaraka 
This one's going for $75. This isn't one that, um, I would pick this one up, but I'm not as keen on this one as I am the other Shakurakas that they made. Another glow in the dark piece. And I don't think I have the, how many pieces they made of this one um, up there. I think it's like 300 something. So um, not a crazy, crazy amount, but still a good piece to have in the collection. And uh, you can only get it in the box of fun. So if you paid for 75 bucks for the box of fun and you got this piece, you basically made your money back. Here's an, another exciting piece that released last year. I'm not a San Francisco Giants fan, but this was a Bates exclusive and a San Francisco uh, Giants exclusive. And this piece is fantastic. Bruce Lee, number 592. This one you had to be San Francisco Giants special event, Bruce Lee tribute night. Um, it was for the VIPs, limited to 250. So if you were part of this exclusive group uh, and you got tickets, you could get this pop as well. And if you didn't manage to pick this one up, it's going for $195 right now. So I don't know how much a ticket was to the game. So I'm guessing somewhere around there. So, but you got the pop. If you're able to sell it, you made your money back. But I do like Bruce Lee. I do like this look. If you did collect Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee figures, this is a must to have in your collection. I do collect Bruce Lee. And this would probably be the only Giants memorabilia I would have in my, <laughs> in my house. But a fantastic piece. Mark Hamill, uh, Decon exclusive, Designer Con. So if you were able to go to the con, they made four of these. This is my favorite and the priciest one out of all of them. It's the Mark Hamill as the Joker purple version. This one was limited to a thousand pieces. And this one was limited to VIPs if you got a VIP pass, um, which I think was pretty pricey. So um, I don't know, I can't remember how much the VIP pass, I was looking to go but I, I mean, obviously I can't because I'm in Japan right now, but this one you got, I believe you got two pops with the Designer Con uh, VIP pass. So if you're able to get this one, you basically paid for the con if you sell, if you sold that piece. But I wouldn't sell this one. This one's a cool piece. Uh, my favorite out of the ones. I've got the two other cheaper versions, but they're all pretty cool in and in in of itself. Now we have the Aku and Samurai Jack. This is a show on Cartoon Network back in the day. I think they actually re this, but this was a New York Comic Con exclusive for 2019. This one sold for 40 bucks and it's going up to $80 right now. So you basically doubled your money. I'm pretty sure Samuel L. Jackson played Samurai Jack, um, if I remember right. But this one was a, a highly sought after pop. I'm surprised it's not worth more right now, but I think in the future, this one will, will continue to trend up. It's just continue, continually to trend up. It's um, consistently stayed at 80, but it's, I think it's going to trend up here in the future. So definitely a great piece if you were able to pick this one up for the New York Comic Con. Next, we obviously have one that everybody knows uh, about. It's the pink chrome Batman from the New York Comic Con. And in that Batman 80th anniversary box, fantastic look. The pink just pops on the box and the, I, mean, I'll, I don't know if I'll ever have this in my hands. But for 15 bucks for it to shoot up to 340, now that's a good investment right now. Maybe not a good investment, but that's some good, that's some good value right there. So if you ever can manage to get this piece in a mystery box or something like that, man, that would be, that'd be fantastic. Now we have some of my favorite pieces coming up right here. It's uh, Parks and Recreation, Andy Dreyer from, from the show. I personally think he's, the best character on the show, um, and I don't, I don't think anybody who watched Parks and Rec would would disagree with me. But this Chase Pop is extremely, extremely popular and extremely valuable. There's a lot of people that are searching for this one. So the reason why this one is so expensive is because one, it is very sought after, and two, they only made 500 pieces of the Andy Dryer Pop. So um, the chases are only a hundred out of them. So this was a Fugitive Toys exclusive and this one's going for $1,620. That's insane. It's obviously the karate. Um, if you guys don't know what's in the box, it's the karate, um, karate anti dryer. So that's a sweet piece to add to the collection. I mean, unless I get in the mystery box, I'm not picking it up. This is the common version. So the common one's only going for $390. 
So um, it's just him with his hands in his pocket. Um, all the Andy Dryer Pops and the Chase Pops from Fugitive Toys or the ones they have made have gone up uh, up in value. So um, a lot of people ask me why Pops are so, or some Pops are so expensive. It's just the popularity of a Pop. Honestly, if this was somebody else from Parks and Rec, I don't see it retaining that much value. Maybe it does, but I highly doubt it, honestly. So just a, a very popular character and a great person in, in real life. So I love this pop. We'll never have it, but it's cool. Now we have another fantastic pop from Freaky Tiki Fatty, Box of Fun, Luke Skywalker, limited to only 80, 80 pieces. So a Star Wars pop, everybody loves Star Wars Funko Pops, so it's going for $1,130. It's the um, Gold Edition Final Battle Luke Skywalker. Uh, you can't really beat this pop. This is one of my, this is my second favorite on the list right now. So uh, you guys might know what my first favorite, but it's coming up here soon. But if you're one of the 80 people that have this pop, you are lucky and fortunate. I don't know if you could have got this in the box of fun. I'm pretty sure you had to be at the event. The Freaky Tiki Friday. I love saying Freaky Tiki Friday. Say that five times fast. Anyways, just a cool pop overall. Now we have a Rhinona Earp pop from the popular TV show on Netflix. You can find it on Netflix. I don't know if it's, uh, I haven't seen it, but I don't know if it's like exclusive to Netflix, but it's a cool pop and a cool show. Um, it's going for $145. So not a bad pickup for $15 exclusive to the San Diego Comic Con uh, last year. So. It's a, it's a good looking pop, but some person, I won't say any names, well, I don't know their name, but somebody traded their Red Says Trooper for the Rhinona or Funko Pop. So as you just saw, the Red Says Trooper is going for $640 right now. So that's insane to me. My favorite pop on the list by far, you can't beat this pop from last year. I think this is my favorite pop from last year. So obviously the Senio Comic Con exclusive, um, but yeah, that person that traded uh, their Red Seth Trooper for the Winona Earp, the, you're crazy. Um, I don't think they knew that the Red Seth Trooper was gonna go up this much in value, but I said a long, long time ago, if you've been following me for a while, I said, hey, this pop is gonna trend upwards to $500 by the end of the year. And I was wrong, it was 640, but hey guys, Make sure you're following, make sure you're subscribed so you're following Funko News because I give you heads up on when pops are gonna go up in value and what I think is pop. I mean, this is an extremely popular movie uh, franchise. That's why this thing has gone up in value. So 640, it may not be the top of the market. I mean, I it could go down in value if it ever goes down to like two to 300, maybe someday I pick it up, doubt it. But Red Stead Super, there you go. My number one pop. I got a couple more from the, that I wanna go over, but uh, my homeboy, Patrick Mahomes the second, a Kansas City Chiefs pop. This one went up from $15 to $65 the day they won the Super Bowl. So I had the original uh, Mahomes with the red jersey, and this one's not extremely uh, pricey, but I foresee this one going down in the future. This is a Fanatics exclusive, that's why it's $65. But when it gets down to like the $20, $25 range, I think probably by the start of next season. Um, hopefully this pop goes down so I can pick it up. I should have picked it up a while ago, but I didn't, it was a mistake. Now we have the Kate Diaz E3 exclusive. This was the only E3 exclusive that wasn't a shared exclusive or that wasn't sold in stores or like GameStop. And um, if you guys aren't familiar with E3, it's just a big gaming event and this was sold there. This Kate Diaz was only limited to 1500 pieces. It is in a fantastic shimmering blue pop look. I mean, it's fantastic. Gears of War, I mean, I love Gears of War. So, I mean, I guess if you didn't like Gears of War, then who cares? But to go from 15 to $85, that's, Cool piece to have. I think it was trending at a while for 70, 60 to 70 dollars, and it's gone up to 85. So this one has stayed pretty solid here at this 85 dollar mark. So definitely a great piece to have in the collection. And we have some Emerald City Comic Con pops, the Charmander flock piece. This is one of the more popular pieces from this year. When I was trying to get this one on the virtual con, 
the Emerald City Comic Con, this thing was sold out in seconds besides the Indiana Jones. We know why, because everybody um, back in the 90s loves Pokemon and the 2000s. But um, everyone grows up on Pokemon. I mean, my son right now is watching Pokemon. So this one sold for $15 and now it's going for $80. So it's a flock piece. Um, I think the green and black sticker for the MOC Comic Con is fantastic. So they nailed that sticker. Uh, I might pick this up someday. Maybe I can get it in a bundle deal with the Bulbazar, which is also going for $80. I, do ha I was able to pick this one up so hopefully the it's the con sticker not the shed exclusive um but yeah if you didn't read the fine print the retro con it said at the bottom we can't guarantee a comic con sticker but i don't know we'll see when it all gets here but i'm hoping to get the charmander someday but i just love i mean with the bit piece well, I, you can't say enough about pokemon everybody loves them so great flock pieces and then last but not least indiana jones the metallic Indiana Jones 10 inch piece. This one limited to 2000 pieces. Um, if you can go ahead, jump on eBay, you could probably buy one for under $200. I highly recommend you do that. Um, this one's gonna go, this is just gonna trend upwards. After they all sell out, I managed to pick up two off of eBay. Um, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the second one, but um, I have something planned for it. But definitely, if you want this and you save up a little bit of money, go get these before they sell out. I, this is the best pop of the Animal City Comic Con. The only one, this was one of the few that, was a sh that wasn't a Shed exclusive. So um, definitely, all the Anna Jones pops in the past have done extremely well. I think by far, this is going to outperform the, uh, the pop ride, the, the 10 inch common one. And there's like the smaller versions and... This one's gonna outperform all of them. So I highly recommend picking this one up. It's a cool piece to have in the collection if you do collect Indiana Jones. This is my first, no, this is my second one because I have the common 10 inch one and I'm like super, super excited to pick up this one. I spent like 160 on one and then like 170 on the other one. So um, <laughs> maybe I'm completely wrong and this one just crashes. I don't think so. This one's definitely gonna trend up in value for sure. So now let's get into the giveaway for the limited edition Chase and the Common Pop. So the person who won the Common Pop is Tim Mitchell. And all he said was cool video at Tide Ride 28. Not a big deal. Appreciate the comment, Tim Mitchell. He's been commenting on a lot of my videos late, lately. So congratulations on the uh, winning the Common Jay Balvin hit me up and I'll get that shipped out to you. Now the person who won the Chase version of the Jay Balvin pop is Queen of Pops. And she says, I've been collecting for almost a year now and I have over 40 Funko Pops. And I would love to get more for from any of the cons, but I would love to have the 10 inch Indiana, Indiana Jones pop to add to my collection as well as Jay Balvin too. Thanks Queen of Pops for commenting on my videos. Hit me up in the comments and I will ship out the Chase Jay Baldwin to you, I'll hit you up on Instagram too. So, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. All the support, all the likes, you guys subscribing, it really helps the video out. It helps my channel grow. I'm at like 1,250 subscribers, which I didn't know. I mean, who knew I would be at this, this so soon. So I really do appreciate it, guys. This concludes it for this uh, week's Funko Pops on the Rise March 2020 week three. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It, this, these take a lot to put together. These are some of my favorite videos to do though, besides Funko News. I love putting these videos together because it really is informative to you guys and to me, like what's going up in value, what's going and down in value. Let me know in the comments which one of these you are trying to collect, like your wish list, your top three wish list of pops that if you could have, these would be on the list. My top three obviously is uh, Ritz of Trooper, Pink Chrome Batman, Chase Adam Driver, Kwate. But I doubt I'll ever pick those up. But yeah, let me know your top three in the comments. And yeah, guys, thanks for all the support. As always, guys, big by bit. Clock Dallin Pops. I will see you next time. Peace.